all the information in this film is from an Arabic manuscript entitled The Journey of Ibn Fadlan. Takin had told me that in the land of the Slavs there was a man of very good character. When I arrived in the town, I asked the king about him. He said, yes, he was in our country, but he died. And he was not of the town, nor of the people either. His news was that a group of merchants went out to the Volga River. It is a river that we go for a whole day journey to reach. And this river has extended and its waters have overflowed. So one day a group of merchants came to me and said, O oh, king, a man has stood on the river. So if he is of a nation that is close to us, then there is no place for us in this land. And we have no choice but to change our direction. So I rode with them to the river until we reached it. And I saw a man, his arm was twelve cubits long, his head was like a large pot, his nose was more than a span. And he had huge eyes and fingers that were more than a span. His looks terrified us and we were afraid of him. Then we started talking to him and he did not talk to us, but he only looked at us. So I carried him to my place, and I wrote to the people of Wisu, who were three months away from us, asking them about him. And they wrote to me, informing me that this man was of Gog and Magog, who were three months away from them. They also informed me that they lived naked, and that the sea was between them, because they were on its shore. And they have sex with each other, like animals. Every day, Allah Almighty brings forth a fish from the sea for them. And each one of them comes with a knife and cuts out as much of the fish as is sufficient for him and his dependents. If he takes more than what satisfies him, his stomach hurts and his dependents' stomachs hurt as well. And perhaps they all die, so when they take what they need from it, it overturns and falls back into the sea, and every day they do the same thing. And they told me that between them and Gog and Magog was the sea on one side, and the mountains surrounding them on the other, and that the wall prevented them from entering the door through which they were leaving. So when Allah Almighty wills to let them out into the people and the buildings, He will allow them to open the wall, cause the sea to dry up and stop providing them with the fish. Ibn Fadlan said, So I asked the king of the Slavs about the man, and he said, He stayed with me for a while, and every boy who looked at him died, and every pregnant woman who looked at him dropped her baby. And if he caught a person, he would squeeze him with his hands until he killed him. And when I saw what he did, I hang him on a high tree until he died. If you want to take a look at his bones and his head, I will go with you to help you find them and take a look at them. I said, By Allah, I would like to do that. So he rode with me to a large place in which there were great tall trees. And he led me to a tree under which the man's bones and head fell. I saw his head. It was like a large hive, and his ribs were larger than the stalks of palm trees, as were the bones of his arms and legs. So I marveled at him and left.